Page 35, the hot dog stand. Again, we have another new position for the right hand. At the beginning, they want third finger on the G, that's here. So that puts you in this position. Hopefully it's not a problem because once you understand what finger is on that note, you can mentally figure out which finger is on the other notes pretty quick. You don't have to sit there, okay, now this is here and this is here and this. I do it by position. The A is a note up, so I'm going to use the next finger up. And the F is below it, I'm going to use the next finger down. You'll have to work out your own system to remember which finger is on which notes. It will come, but it may take some time, so just be patient. This has eighth notes in it, so we have to count one and two and three and four and all that junk again. And then in the second line, the at the end, the right hand and left hand are playing at the same time again. So you look at the second line next to the last measure. The right hand is playing here, and then when the right hand plays the G, the left hand has to do the B. And that's really about it. There's not a lot to say on here. You've had all this before. It's in 4-4 time. I'd like to do a play with me with this also, so I'll give us four counts. So let's try it together. This way you can check to make sure you have the right notes and the rhythms. Now I go slow on the play with me's, at least I try to, and if a play with me is too fast, you can't go that fast, and to me that means you don't know it yet, you're not ready. So keep practicing it until you can get it and speed it up, at least to where I'm doing the play with me, because almost all of these on the play with me, I'm going way too slow. It should go a lot faster. This piece, when when I don't know how fast you'd sing it, there's no, there's nothing to tell me how fast to go. So it's like, well, how fast, I don't know, it's like... Maybe it's about as fast, I don't know if I'd sing it that fast, but to me that's about how fast it would go. But in a play with me, we would go super, super, super slow. The right hand has to move here. This is the first piece we've had where a hand moves in the piece except for when the one piece where the left hand crossed over. But this time the, hand, the right hand is moving. It's not crossing over, it's moving. So things are getting trickier because at the beginning of this, third finger to begin with, you're in this position. But look over in the third measure. They want second finger on the D. Well, that's here. That's this position. Then in the second line, look at that. They want third finger on the G again. So you're up here again. Then two measures over, the third measure, second line, they want second finger on the D again. You're down here. It's like they can't make up their mind, can they? Yes. So you're moving from here to here in this piece. Now there's rests in front of, of when you move. The right hand has rest, so you have time to move. And when we move our hand, we always try and move it ahead of time if we can, so it's where we need it before we need it. You can't always do that. Sometimes you have to move it and play immediately, and those are tricky. But if you can, get it there before you need it so it's ready to go. So you have to figure out in the second measure when the right or the left hand is playing here. I'm suggesting on the half note when the, when the left hand plays that half note. That's when you move down here, and you're going to have to hover over it because that's his middle C position here. And you get your right hand down here ready to go, so that when that measure is over, when the counting is done there, then you can continue right on. Then at the end of the line. When the left hand is playing the half, the half note, the G, then you can move your right hand back up so it's ready to go when the, the rhythm says to. Same thing in the second line. So I'm suggesting you move the right hand during that half note right before when the left hand does the half note. You work it out. The beat has to be solid. It, you can't hesitate to beat because you're moving your hands. Uh-uh beat's got to be right there. Once the song starts and that beat starts, it, can, it it's like a train. It's just going to move until the end of the piece keeps going. 
That's your assignment if you choose to accept it. Make that beat keep going. So let's try this out. Third, uh, third finger here and thumb here. To start, because the hand's going to move. One, two, ready, and go, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, four. Two, three, four.